In this video, I will show you how you can make a short killer. So, in case you have been trying to buy a short killer but it's not available, then I will show you how you can make a short killer at home using when repairing mobile phones to detect shorting components on a mobile phone. So, I'm just going to show you all the things that we will need to make up this short killer, then show you how you're gonna make it. We're gonna need this. Gonna need solder. We're gonna need a soldering iron normally then we're gonna need this but this is optional we're gonna need this okay so in case you know that you cannot get these then keep watching the video because i will show you what you can use in case you don't have this so during the video i will show you what you can use if you don't have these okay so let's just get into work then i will show you how you're gonna build up this homemade shot killer so just like this video subscribe to this channel in case you haven't then comment right down there if the video is really helpful and don't forget to join my channel membership using that join button over there contacting that's the reason why I'm putting all this because this battery does not need to short circuit you understand so always make sure all the things that you are soldering right here do not get to contact with the other side okay
you can still solder your cable there is no need to do this try struggling to get this if you don't have you can still solder your cables only but this makes it look professional and easy because you just have to pinch it this one on the negative then pinch one on the positive when you are looking for shorting and if you have your probes like type of multimeter probes you can connect them right here then use your probes to work on the pcb but for this one you, ju you just have to pinch so like i said if you don't have these cells right here you can use a battery of a cell phone but for you to use a battery of a cell phone you will need to remove this sick right here so that it will distribute the correct capacity that is right into the battery because this circuit right here reduce the capacity so you will have to remove the circuit of the battery then connect the batteries directly so you can join even like four cell phone batteries you understand but make sure that when you are joining any of them you will need to remove these right here and when you remove these you will have to connect the output which are these cables right here so we are good to go this is our short killer right here and if you don't know how to use a short killer then check this video right here i will show you how you can use a short killer i'm showing you how i detect a short killer on a samsung phone using this short killer right here so i've been using this method of short killers for three years and i always succeed when i'm trying to troubleshoot shorting so you can recharge the battery with 5 volt and it will take a lot of time to charge always make sure that you keep these batteries safe make sure they are not short circuiting because the high capacity that these batteries are providing right now can easily make the batteries to fire up so you need to be careful about that always make sure that the probes are not connected when you are keeping them safe and keep them away from children you understand so this is our homemade short killer so you can try it so uh, even build the custom case then put it inside modify it the way that you want but i always like my things to be like this because i like playing playing around with stuff okay so i hope this video helps and make sure you like it subscribe to this channel then comment